The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. At that time, the woman departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Hail! And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. And, they, and then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell your brethren to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, behold, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had taken place. And when they had assembled with the elders and taken counsel, they gave a sum of money to the soldiers and said, Tell people the disciples came by night and stole them away while we were asleep. And if this comes to the governor's ears, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. So they took the money and did as they were directed. And this story has been spread among the Jews to this day. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, resurrection time. You might not know it, and you won't see it for a bit, but I decided today to put on my happy socks. It's a little attempt, but I suppose an important one, to remember that times have changed. This is the resurrection time. Our daily routine might not have changed very much because of our lockdown. So what can we do new from today, spiritually, that will remind us of the greatness of what Jesus has done? Or are we going to just have window dressing and do what the soldiers did and the, and the um, scribes, the chief priests. Are we going to acknowledge that something has changed but pretend that nothing has changed? Or are we going to acknowledge that something has changed and live it? Happy socks, do nothing. Just a mere reminder. Are we going to live this resurrection quickly? We spoke about leaping in faith, leaping in courage and leaping in hope. Are we any different today? We should be. If not, we need to find ways to be. So today as we continue reflecting on what the resurrection means for us individually, I'd like us to continue to and to remember the greatness of what God has given us. And this is not a time of woe, but it's a time of reflection, a time of seeing things new. I pray that as we go through this octave each day, something new will be revealed to us, something we haven't seen before. Something that becomes more meaningful and deeper for our everyday love of God. I couldn't help but be <clears throat> struck by the words, preserve me, O God. And to be honest, when I heard those words, I immediately thought of a jar of preserved figs in the fridge that I bought before lockdown, it was one of my favourite things, preserved figs and cheese, and I'd kind of forgotten about it. What is Easter? What are the little things that we have forgotten about? The things that we had wanted to do before lockdown and haven't yet done. The little routine things that we wanted to put out of the way. The things that we have now got slack. I know I have. What can we do differently? What jar of hope on our spiritual journey can we now reopen and revisit? This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice in it and be glad. Yes, it's raining beautifully today. Am I rejoicing in it? Am I glad? 
Or is this just another day? 